that's, that, that's fascinating. Um, how do we sift through the writings, the, the speeches, the remarks of Tolstoy to evaluate his attitudes towards individual Jews and the Jewish people? I know this might be mm -hmm. a question and then I you know, read all different kinds of perspectives on this. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, well, Tolstoy evolved in this respect. He was a Russian aristocrat. And as a Russian aristocrat, he shared a traditional aristocratic, condescending and arrogant attitude to Jews in the, his youth time. He was never anti-Semitic. That was not a part of his perception ever. But there was some sort of condescension to this yeah, strange people around here, uh, not being part of the world he really accepted of the high society world. But the more he developed, the more interested he became in Jews. Yeah, he, he thought with this attitude in himself. In one of his uh, diaries, he was appalled in 1881 by the Jewish pogroms yeah, and wrote violently against them. He, uh, yeah, he uh, fought, fought with the anti-Semitic feelings of his family members who also shared some, they, they were also not anti-Semites in the real sense of this world, right. but they also shared the sort of patronizing, condescending alienation from Jews. Yeah, Tolstoy was very vehemently against it. And he, he fought, against, fought against it also in himself. In one of his diaries, he writes, it's very difficult to love a Jew, but I have to. 